So after I have entered my three ozone checks into the toolbox, I am going to work on entering my two PM 2.5 flow checks into the toolbox. And I enter my PM 2.5 data and my ozone data into the same form in the toolbox because they're both continuous data. So that form works for both continuous PM, like that's collected with a BAM RTOM, and it also works for your gaseous pollutants. So like my ozone QC data collection sheets, my PM 2.5 data collection sheets are also electronic. And you can see that I have the same yellow areas that I am going to get my answers from the toolbox from. And if I scroll down, you'll see that this is a little bit simpler than the ozone QC check form. And there's only two checks and they are both on the same page here. There might be some fields on this form that are not represented by the, in the toolbox QC form. So for example, this leak check in the toolbox QC form, we don't have a field for leak check. So we just don't enter that into the toolbox. And remember that if you need to check the requirements for your sampler, then look at the EPA validation templates and see what it is specific for your sampler. For example, the EPA validation templates recommends that you do not do a leak check on a thermal BAM because it could rupture the foils. Okay, so there's some stuff on here that might not apply to your sampler, and this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm ready to enter this data into the toolbox. So I go back into the toolbox that we need to enter this into. If you were not in that form, you could open it up from the continuous and meteorological data fast track like I did. All I need to do here is go to the next blank record. And you'll notice there's three records in this form that are already entered. And those are my three ozone QC checks. So I want to go to the next blank record. So I click next record on the navigation buttons on the bottom of the screen on the left side. So that brings up my blank form and I'm going to enter my first PM 2.5 QC check. So I begin by selecting my pollutant and remember it's PM 2.5 continuous. And then you'll notice here that the toolbox populates all of these fields based on what's standard for PM 2.5. So most people that do PM 2.5 have some sort of flow check they enter and then a temperature and a pressure. So I tab over to the next field, which is QC frequency. And I'm gonna look at my sheet here. So this is also a bi-weekly check because I did my first check on January 5th and my next check on the 19th, two weeks after the first check. So I select bi-weekly here. And I'm doing the data entry, so I select myself. What was the first date? January 5th. And the time, 909, site name. This is interesting. I have two sites listed now. And the reason I have two sites listed is because for at one point, my PM 2.5 monitor was at the other site, but now we moved it to the new site, so I need to select the correct site here. And the sampler is currently located at the city center site, and then select my sampler of INPM25 and my type of assessment field. I do want to submit my QC check to AQS, so I need to fill in this field. So I click on the drop down arrow, and I get flow rate verification and semi annual flow rate audit. So the flow rate verification is for the check that I measure with my own handheld flow rate standard. That's what I do on a routine basis. I do that every two weeks. The semi-annual flow rate audit would be for the check you do with the standard different than that you use for your routine flow rate check. I don't want to check select that because I'm doing my bi-weekly flow rate checks with my own handheld flow rate standard. So I just choose flow rate verification. And I also want to mention that although the toolbox allows entry of multiple flow rate checks, only check types of total flow or main flow, depending on the pollutant and sampler, will be included in the AQS data file. So for PM10, 
the total flow is included in the AQS file. But for PM2.5, if you measure it with a T-ohm or a sampler other than a fan, the main flow is included. For PM2.5 measured with MAMS, which is what we have, the total flow is included in the AQS file. So only one of the flow rates is included in the AQS file. And all of this is consistent with the EPA requirements for AQS QA files. So we'll continue tabbing through these fields. And I actually don't have anything to enter into these fields until I get to the flow rate checks. So I'm going to keep tabbing through these until I get to flow rates. Okay, so now I'm in the flow rate type field. The toolbox automatically populates these check types. And if these aren't right for your data, you can change them by clicking in the drop down arrow. Or if you, for example, you don't collect the aux flow or the temperature or the pressure, you can just leave those blank and leave the check types as they are, then just leave the related fields blank. So I'm going to go back into my, my field data collection sheet and see what kind of flow rates I do collect. And I have a total flow rate and that's it. So I'm not going to enter anything beyond the total flow rate. I also notice here that I have my standard value and my sampler value. I actually don't use a data logger for my PM 2.5 QC check. So I, I'm not going to enter any, any data into the data logger field on the toolbox form. Let's take a look at this. My total flow rate, my sampler value is 16.6 .6 and my standard is 16.31. Let's look at this in the toolbox. So I'm in the total flow area. I'm going to tab over and select my units. So let's see what my units are. Okay, my units are LPM. So go back to the toolbox and select those units. And then I tab into the known field. And let's take a look here. So notice something here. The standard or the known value is actually after the sampler in my data collection sheet. In, in the toolbox QC form, it comes first. So you have to be really careful here that you don't accidentally reverse these and enter the wrong value in the known field. Okay, so we'll go and enter the value of 16.31 for my standard. My sampler value was 16.6. .6. And so it calculated the difference from the known and the percent difference from the known and did not add anything in the qualifier field so I know that check was passing. I'm going to tab through the rest of these main flow and aux flow because I don't have anything to enter there. So I'm just going to tab through them. And I get to my temperature field. So let's see what units my temperature is in. It's in Celsius. So I select C for Celsius. Then I enter my known and my sampler value for my temperature and it calculates and this also passed because there's no flag in the qualifier field and now i enter my pressure let's see what my units are millimeters of mercury and my known and my sampler values so my known my standard is 709 and my sampler is 710 Okay, so what I'd like to do now is do a quick QC check to make sure I enter this data correctly. So I'm just going to bring up this form here and minimize a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. So let's see, my standard values. My standard values should be 16.31. Uh, what's this? There's an 18 here and my standard should have been 18.3. So I made a little data entry error when I was entering my data. So I need to fix that. So to fix it, I can just click in that field. So I need to click in the known field here and then highlight my 18 and change this to 18.3. And then this one needs to be 18. So when I fix this, I'm gonna use the tab key again because I want the toolbox to calculate my new percent difference. 
and make sure that is within range. So yes, it is within range. So let me just check that this is correct. Sampler values and standard values. Standard should be 16.31, 18.3709. Looks good. And my sampler value should be 16.6, 18, and 710. Correct. My units are correct, LPM, C, and millimeters of mercury. So it looks like I entered everything correctly now. And I need to fill in my form in, this, in these yellow areas. So I'll go ahead and do that. So my first value difference from known is 0.29. And percent difference is 1.78. And yes, it is a passing check. And my temperature difference for my is 0.3 and percent difference from known is 1.64 and this is a passing check and for my pressure difference the value is 1 and the percent difference from known is 0.14 percent and yes this is another passing check and that is all I need to fill in for that check, I believe. Yes. So I'll minimize this form. And these device display linear regression charts and the data logger output charts obviously is not going to have anything in it because there's nothing in my data logger outputs. But this chart is going to be meaningless because I only have one total flow. I mean, one flow just the total flow. If I had a main flow and aux flow, this would have been useful to look at, but since I don't, we're not going to look at those. So that completes the process of entering my first QC check for my PM 2.5 data. I have another check I need to enter, and to do that, I would click on the next button to open up a blank record, and then I would go ahead and enter that data. But since I've already shown you that, I am not going to demonstrate it again because it's the same process that I already demonstrated.